Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is by the horns number six. Really interesting entry into this series, and I'm sure one that's going to be, you know, somewhat controversial. Uh, so it's written with direction by Marcus and Nasso, art lettering designed by Jason Mirror, color art, uh, art and effects by Andre Tabakaru. Uh So this answers a big question. So the story of uh, By the Horns is about this woman named Elodie whose uh, husband has been injured uh, by unicorns and she's out for revenge. She wants to destroy the unicorns. Uh, she winds up coming across a bigger threat and having to team up with the unicorns. So the question is, is like, what is this history with the unicorns? By the Horns number six answers that question. And it does it in an issue that is nearly completely silent. Uh, there's just maybe a few words in the entire issue, uh, making it a quick read, but is one that adds in a lot of gaps and answers a lot of questions as to what happened to Elodie's uh, husband, Shintaro, or Shinatro. No, Shintaro. I was right. Shintaro. Um, so we basically, we get the we get the story and the history through Shintaro's views. So he, we, we learn uh, his life before Elodi, um, some interesting history between him and other characters, uh, how he kind of meets Elodi. We get to see a little bit of their courtship and then their marriage. Uh, and then we see what goes down with the unicorns. Um, and again, this is pretty much a silent issue. Um, and I think that's what, what it's interesting is that like I really like that it fills in the gaps. It answers a lot of questions, and there's enough twists and turns to make this a really interesting history. Um, you know, it kind of connects some dots as to what happened with him and the unicorns. Uh, it also ties into some bigger stuff that's going on. So I'm kind of a little mixed on that, but I appreciate uh, you know what was revealed. I kind of wish it was maybe done. There was more of a hint about it, if that makes sense. Um, the silent part of it, I think, is really interesting to go that that route. I mean, it, it really forces the, the imagery to tell the story and really forces the imagery to tell the emotional aspects of the story, the um, the friendships, the falling in love, the love, the loss, all that stuff. And it does that, I think, really, really well. Um, you know, the character direction, the body language, all that is is really solid when it comes to depicting, uh, taking us on this, on this ride and journey. So... Uh, as part of the bigger puzzle, I think it's a really solid issue. On its own, I think it's a good issue. Uh, and I, I, hopefully that makes sense as to you know how I'm seeing the difference between those two uh, two things. Like it, it answers a lot of questions. It, it adds some deaths in some ways. Um, it, it definitely brings out some character history. Uh, and it does it silently. And it does it pretty well silently. And I, you know, as the series is gone, I... I kind of impressed that they went this route. I think that's the thing that really shocks me is that they decided to do this issue this way. And and honestly, with with, with dialogue, I don't know if the issue would have been any better. Um, that's the, kind of the funny thing. Like, I don't know if dialogue would have added much to the to the issue at all. So you, if you've been reading By the Horns, I mean, you should be very happy with the issue. Um, you know, obviously, it's not a place to start uh, unless you're kind of interested in the, the silent storytelling, in which case it's a really intriguing thing to check out. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you've been reading the series, you should enjoy the issue and, and where it all goes. Uh, this is out now in Comic Shops, so you can go get it. we got a link beneath this video, put in your zip code, tell the Comic Shops there you No shop, no problem. We do have, uh, links below. There might be some affiliate links. By that, uh, doing that, you help support our site, so thank you. And just watching our video support us, so thank you for that. If you're into Scout Comics, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics. And keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.